Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorials, I want to show you how you can create a car emblem logo animation like this one. So stick around, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I already imported my logo, so I'm going to drag it's now into this composition icon right below the project manager window to create a new composition. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to make sure I stabilize this logo to the center. Currently it is going up and down and left to right so I don't want that. So I want to be able to keep it right at the center. So how do I do that? So we're going to go into the window option right here and then activate the tracker panel. So after activating that it will appear to the left side to the right side of your screen. So now we're going to click the stabilize motion. Once you click that, it is going to open the tracker window with these two dots you see right here. Just arrange it and point it to a particular contrasting area. The smaller the shape, the faster this will track. So now we hit the play icon right here to track forward or track backward. So once the tracking is done, so you hit apply, then to apply the tracking data to the footage. Now the tracking and stabilization is done. If you scroll through your timeline, you see that there are space from the top and to the left. So to fix this, we're going to add an effect called motion tile effect. We're going to set the output height and the output width to 200 respectively. Then make sure you check mirror edges. So if you scrub through this, now you see that all the space left before because of the motion tiling, it has been filled up. Control shift C to pre-compose this. So you can name this whatever you like. Move all attribute to the new composition. Then you hit OK. So what I'm going to do now is to move my time indicator right to the end where I can clearly see the logo. So I'm going to pick the pen tool and mask this particular logo out. So this is what I got, but if you scroll through the timeline now, you see that the mask is not following up. So I'm going to track this mask forward in time. So the tracking is done. If you scroll through now, you see that the mask is following through with the logo. So if you want to know how to do this on the card above, you can check it out to see how detailed how to track a mask. So now we're going to select this layer, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. So we're going to go into the bottom one, hit M to reveal the mask and then set this to subtract and that is going to bring out the background logo so we're going to select the top one and make it a 3d layer so we're going to move forward in time then we're going to hit s on the keyboard to set a keyframe for the scale then Control shift r to reveal the rotation and set a keyframe for the for the y rotation so we're going to move forward in time a bit and then scale this up make this rotation one so if you scroll through now, that is going to be what you have. So I will just move forward in time a little bit and reverse the keyframes. Select all the keyframes. Hit F now on your keyboard to ease ease. If you scroll through your timeline forward, you will see that there is a space black hole right there. So to fill that in, I'm going to right click on my timeline, go to new and then create a new solid layer. And then hit OK. Right now, if you go through it, you see there is no space anymore. So Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate this layer. Then we're going to add the effect called Saber. Set the preset to Heat. Expand the custom core and change the core type to Layer Mask. So we're going to go to the end size and make it 30. So move your time indicator to about the place where this started flipping up about here and set a keyframe for the end offset. So we're going to move back to about one second forward uh, backward in time and then send set the offset value to zero. So hit you on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe. 
move this keyframe backward a bit and then come right here and set a keyframe for the start offset. Then we're going to move right close to where we start flipping now and set the offset value to 100. Select all the keyframe, hit F9 on your keyboard to ease ease. And this is what we have, but we are unable to see our logo. So to see our logo, we're going to go to the render settings and change the composite type. That is the composite settings to transparent. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer again. Ctrl D on the keyboard to do that. I'm going to go to the setting right here and change it to neon. So I'm going to leave it the same setting. So, but what I'm going to do is to just offset the keyframes. I will hit you on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes for all of them. Select the keyframe for the neon and then move it backward a bit so that the neon layer start revealing first. And you have this. So I'm going to duplicate this couple of time and change the scale to create that value. For example, if I come to this place, I'm going to select the neon type, Ctrl D on the keyboard, then I'm going to hit the S scale. I will change the scale value so that it will be larger a bit than what we have. You see that? Then I'll just offset the animation. Then I'll repeat this some couple of more times. So now after duplicating as much, so this is what I got. You have this coming up and going back in. Now it is time to add some smoke assets. You can download any smoke asset from online. So drag and drop what you have onto your timeline. So we're going to pick the mask tool and mask some part out. Feather it. So add the key light tool. So we're going to remove the green. So I will just position this now randomly on the animation. So now after offsetting it and adding the smoke uh, asset, this is what I have. So then what the next thing I did was to add a tint effect, change the color value and then animate the mix value from 0 to 100 and 100 to 0 to create this color offset. So this is how you can animate a car emblem or manufacturer logo animation right inside Adobe After Effect. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all the support. So with whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.